discretion is advised. trailer break again i am joined with the muse justin kyle say hello everyone justin hello everyone yeah uh, yes and then of course me i am mitchell wright the tech uh sorry about the uh, hiatus life's been a little busy for the geeks here lately but we do have some new uh, material here for you uh this episode ladies and gentlemen as you saw of course in the beginning is about the uh the 2016 uh, actual uh april 20th 2016 release of the huntsman uh, winter's war which is a, a sequel to uh, snow white and the huntsman uh, so before we get too much into the details and uh, the nitty-gritty of it all here is your peek at the 2016 release trailer of Hun The Huntsman, Winter's War. Soaking that in yet again, and um, as I uh, always say and, and always do um, uh, before we get too deep and involved into it is, uh, Justin, give it to me. Okay. Uh, I really I really enjoyed this. There, there are things I really enjoyed about this trailer overall, mm -hmm. and there are things that I 
thought they could have done a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, I saw the first. I saw the first movie when it came out in theaters, and I I even remember watching the trailer of the first one, uh, Snow White and the Huntsman, yeah. and I thought it was going to be okay, and it was. Uh, yeah. Obviously, I'm not a huge Kristen Stewart fan, as the majority of human beings are. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I did like the movie. It was good. Uh, this one I think looks better than that. I'm actually I'm actually digging this one a lot more. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess before we go too deep into anything else, um, real quick, the uh, the director is Cedric Nicholas uh, Trojan, and I uh, kind of had to do a little research on him. He's tied to uh, The Ring from 2002, and before that, uh, he was part of a one-hour photo with Robin Williams. So, you know, he, he's, he's got a little, little experience, a little different genre than this uh, necessarily. But um, uh, t- to take a peek at the plot and the summary, if you uh, if you couldn't quite grasp it all from what you saw there, is, is as two evil sisters prepare to conquer the land, two renegades, Eric the Huntsman, who previously aided Snow White in defeating Ravenna and his forbidden lover, set out to stop them. Now, this term "forbidden lover" is thrown out a little bit, and I'm not real sure what that's all about. I'm sure we're told more, and I've got some speculation for that. But um, to to jump right in, uh, like I said, uh, we've said our director Joe Roth is the producer, and as you saw, he, they they tied him in as as being part of Maleficent and uh, as part of uh, Alice in Wonderland. So uh, uh, given the uh, the CGI and the uh, you know, the quality level of, of uh, visual effects and, and sound in those movies, I, I feel like it's going to have a stable foothold as far as all of that goes. Now, um, the cast, though, the cast to jump into it, Chris Hemsworth is the Huntsman, Eric, which joins us again, and, and, I, and I thought it was, I'm, I'm glad to see him back. Uh, Jessica Chastain plays his forbidden love interest, uh, Sarah, uh, right. Sam Cloffin is credited with William. I'm, I'm not real familiar with him or the character William. Of course, uh, Charlize Theron uh, joins us again as uh, Ravenna, the evil queen. Um, and then her sister, which is a new twist on, is, is, is uh, Freya, played by Emily Blunt, uh, the, the ice queen. Right. And uh, so you've, you've got a solid... A solid group of uh, actors here, and uh, I, I, I kind of like how you jump in. Is is um, I like one of the first lines of the trailer is, is if uh, it's something if you're expecting a fairy tale, this is this is something much more. Right. And, and uh, I I feel like this, you know, Snow White and the Huntsman was was a very adult, um, edgy uh, take to the the whole Disney story and everything and, and I feel like the Huntsman is picking up from there and, and definitely taking off and and leaving uh, its predecessor behind uh, right and I, I'm with you as far as uh, I'm sorry you know I, my wife enjoys the Twilight films they they, they were well enough uh, they weren't the book I guess I've read the book but they were they were well enough done and everything but uh, you know, I, I'm going to go out there on a limb and, and just say it, and everybody can be mad. But as far as I'm concerned, Kristen Stewart has the uh, acting ability and the personality of a brick. Would you like some aloe vera? You just got burned. Right. And uh, I, I've, quite frankly, had more fun talking to uh, uh, dog turds than watching her act. You are not talk that way. You're just a boy. So, right. I'll... I'll leave it at that. There you have my brunt criticism, um, but also uh, Hemsworth. Man, I'm, I'm I'm glad to see that guy still doing uh, action films and reprising roles, especially outside of Thor. Right. And uh, I I think as far as an action hero uh, uh, star as it goes, he he definitely has a lot of. Um, Oh, God, I just noticed something. Ladies and gentlemen, a technical issue. The tech forgot to move the mouse cursor, so uh, it, please excuse that if it shows up on the screen for while it was pointing at me. Unbelievable. A new low. I'm so ashamed. Uh, 
<laughs> I, you know, it, it, I'm a little rusty. It's been a while. It has been a while. It yeah. has been. It has been. Um, Way too long, if you ask me. Indeed. Indeed. And then uh, also the Queens. Uh, I like that the Queens are very strong, predominant, well-known um, actresses. And, uh, 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 and the whole idea of her younger sister... Uh, seeking the mirror and, and resurrecting um, Ravenna uh, from within the mirror and, and, and combining its power with her to bring her back. And right. So, so with that, uh, what other thoughts? I mean, have I sparked anything, anything else, tidbits you want to throw at me? Well, I got to say, are, are we going to do the thing where we essentially, are we going to break down like every aspect, like the music and then the... We've already talked about the special effects. Let's let's just throw throw it out how you want. Okay. Well, one of the negative things I, I was not a big fan of the music. I thought they okay. could have done a lot better choice with the music. I mean, I understand that's kind of like a uh, that's like a thing now. They're putting like old remixes and like new things into like medieval stuff. Kinda I don't know. Giving it a new age old sound like they did. Right. If okay. they would have put, this is just my opinion, obviously, but if they would have put like an epic, like Hans Zimmer score or like an actual epic score, okay. I think it would have done a lot better uh, than the music choice. I understand, again, why they're doing it. That's kind of mm -hmm. the end thing right now. Uh, Appealing to a younger crowd, possibly. Right. That's why they're doing it. Uh, the other thing that I completely understand why they did this, and this is kind of selfish of me uh, to expect this, but. Can you imagine going into this movie if they had not have shown Charlize Theron in the trailer at all? Like, you know what I mean? Because they kind of say it to her to the very, well... Done sort of a, a Mark Hamill-esque thing like Episode 7 right. has and just kind of right. leave, it to, leave it to imagination. Right. So I, I understand because they're trying to link it. I mm -hmm. completely understand why they did. And plus she's the only actor that's actually won an Oscar. They're all Oscar caliber, if you ask me. But I can she's, agree. The only, she's the only one that's actually won an Oscar, and plus she was her acting in the first one raised the bar really, really high. She was a right. standout as far mm -hmm. as what she, the places she went to emotionally for me. Right. Uh, that one scene where she catches the arrow and and then she says, uh, "I've missed you" or something like that. Yeah. I was like, yeah. "Oh my god, that's awesome." They 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 definitely. Uh... I, I like how there's that personal touch tie in to, to the uh, to the previous uh, previous movie. But also one of the things I caught I, I was going to bring up. Do you notice how in the beginning you, you kind of see you see the huntsman age, and they're in that kind of that frost keep or castle, and I guess I guessing the huntsmen were were raised and bred and and trained for the ice queen. And maybe he has left her. You know, are we seeing parts of maybe... Oh! Ha! Got him! <laughs> we got it. We got it. Okay, so... <laughs> that was unexpected. That was uh, a... Uh, uh, it's it's, it's alright. It's alright. It's official trailer break, Bubba. I can't really get mad at that because my lovely girlfriend just sent me a picture... Not a not a bad picture. Oh, it, was just, uh, it was just a beautiful picture of her. <laughs> Anyways, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's right. staying right. in. Okay, uh, so yeah, what were you, you? You were going somewhere. Let's let's hear it. Yeah, I was. I was going somewhere, and the train just went right off the rail. Get on with it. Love That's okay. It. We're, we're a little rusty. We'll get there. <laughs> it's the journey, man. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just, just as long as you get there in the end, buddy. Right. Uh, Lord, I don't remember whatsoever I was well, talking you, about. You, you were, I think your theory was that the Huntsman was... Uh, yeah, yeah. The, 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 that Freya um, has apparently been, been training the Huntsman. And, and one of the things I was wondering is, is, you know, Forbidden Lover, and the thing about... Sarah, if you remember, he mentions a a past or or dead um, wife. wife in the right. first one, and right. it's kind of like, it, it, is this it? And is Sarah someone he trained with? And were the huntsmen who were trained together forbidden to commingle, to marry, to bond? Kind of like 
I guess almost sort of like Jedi-esque or whatnot. No! And it, 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 it's going to be interesting to see how that all ties in and how she's alive. And is this actually... This this couldn't actually be a prequel, I wouldn't think. No, this is it's definitely not a, a sequel. But right. it, it is the parts with her in it, it's just kind of like... I. I need to understand this. I need to see this. I need to, it, and that's one of the the tangled webs that they've just wove, and they've got to really untie for me in the movie. I have a feeling that that's not his wife. This obviously this is speculation, but I have a feeling thanks, Captain Obvious. Feeling that's not his wife. That his wife was someone else, and obviously, obviously she was killed or murdered or whatever. And this is like that one girl from his childhood that kind of got away and they're going to be kind of rekindled years later. Okay. okay. I can buy that. I, I could and, be and, wrong. And, and, and you know, and that would be, that would be a perfectly legit tie in, um, as far as all that goes. Right. Um, any other thoughts? Well, we're, we're talking about the cast, mm -hmm. Jessica Chastain personally. Um, she, I think in my opinion, she is one of the best actresses working today. Um, if you look at just her film history alone, she yeah. has done so many crazy things. It's ridiculous. Like well, when you mentioned this in The Martian, you said this about her in The Martian trailer break. That's correct. So like she's done everything from Independence to now blockbusters to now space, you know, Odysseys. Mm -hmm. um, she's done mafia movies. She's done, you know, she was just in Crimson Peak. Every she's oh, yeah. a chameleon, yeah. man. She's yeah. she's Juilliard trained. She went to Juilliard along with Oscar Isaac. They graduated together. Right, right. If you watch her in interviews, and I said this about Tom Hardy, she is a actress, full blown. Like she's not looking for money. She's looking for the art itself, and you can really tell. Charlize Theron, obviously. I mean, no one's gonna argue. She has sick talent. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Even oh. Emily Blunt. She they're extremely all 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 of them right now. You know, Charlize has been hot for a while as far as, you know, what she's been doing. But right now, those three are some of the hottest actors in the business. Like, they could not have picked a more now cast. Oh, yeah. And, like, yeah, and that's kind of one of the things I said. That this, the cast is packed. Just as long as it's got the story and everything else to go with it, I think you've got... you. I don't know if I would say the essence of an epic movie, but a, definitely a, a good, possibly great movie. Right. Uh... I don't know. As far as special effects goes, was there anything that really like caught you off guard that caught your caught your eye? No, I, I felt that they stayed true to uh, the the um, the universe, say it, or the um, the world that was created in the first movie, especially with that opening scene of the uh, mythical creatures and, and the uh, you know the the wildlife and everything. I, I felt it was very true to. Um, uh, the previous movie, and, and I read that they they shot on um, on a few uh, of the similar uh, actual um, places that they shot in the first movie to have some um, you know continuity. Continuity. Thank you. Right. Uh, as far as landscape and everything else goes. Right. So that, um, a... no, no, I, I felt as far as visual, it looked very solid. Yeah, I did too. The the number one thing that they really stood out. It's that money shot. It's that end where, you know, I guess it's Charlize Theron where, like, she turns into those eels or I don't know what it is. But yeah. She's like, yeah. It's actually Shooting a room. out after everybody. I thought that was pretty dope. Kind of like the tendrils, I guess, would be the, the word we're looking for, tendrils. And what's, what's interesting about the franchise, even if you look at the first one, the special effects aren't, like, groundbreaking. They're subtle, but mm -hmm. they're really original. That's what I like about them. So, like... By that, I mean it's not like crazy, mind-blowing special effects, but by original means, like when you see the first one, and they hit those uh, knights and they like shatter. Uh, shatter. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's cool. And it's kind of it's, it's kind of walking that thin line between. I thought Maleficent was too fairy tale esque. Like, I wasn't a big fan of it. A Angelina Jolie, I think, did a great job. Oh yeah. Just, yeah. But overall, as a movie, I just thought it was too. And awesome. it was it was very CGI heavy. That's right. That's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. So, like, kind of, did you ever see uh, The Great and Powerful Oz with James Franco? Yeah, I, I started watching it, and, and, and given the fact that it was so CGI heavy, it it lost my interest because I, I, I didn't feel like I, I, I wasn't grounded in anything real. Right. That's kind of the same thing. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I had the same feeling with Maleficent. Now, I saw it in the theater, and I'm not going to walk out of a movie. I just paid $10 to see. 
But uh, wow. yeah, this one, this one, I'm really digging what they're going for as far as special effects. A lot of it still looks practical, and it was really smart of them to go back to the original sets they had in the first one. You know, to keep that continuity alive uh, in the franchise. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, um, give me your. Uh, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. When I say give it to me, what is your, uh, what is your score, my good sir? Okay, so if you remember when we did the trailer break for The Last Witch Hunter, mm-hmm. um, and I, I was unsure, I, I had my reservations, and I was kind of on the fence about it. Yeah. And I told you the story about turning to my mates on this side and that side. and The mates. I have a lot of mates. Uh, Does I was she know about this? No. Because I, cause I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was unsure because I thought it was either going to be like nailed it for the genre or like, mm-hmm over the top and with these niche genre films uh, even a little bit over the top goes a long way you know yeah. what i mean you, yeah. it's really hard to walk that fine line i think this one this one looks from this trailer like it's done it now obviously this is still a trailer right so but the movie could be terrible when it comes out um i don't see it being worse since they dropped christian stewart but uh would you like some aloe vera you just got burned <gasps> oh burned <laughs> No, uh, I think I think they did a I think they did a good job uh, with presenting it overall. Again, it, I'm not going to give it. I can't give it a nine or even a ten because there were some things I, I wish they could have done better. Um, I'll give it an eight. Eight. I am. Uh, I, I'm right there with you. It, 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 the trailer is an eight. Um, the setting up the music may have made the feel a little more. Now that I think of it, drew you in. Um, I didn't think it was horrible, but. You know, it's kind of somewhat predictable for the time, as you would say. Uh, other than that, cast-wise, the story seems uh, awesome. The the action looks great. Uh, visuals uh, just uh, tying it into the to its predecessor as well. Um, it, it's a solid eight, and it, it, it looks like it has the potential to be a, a possibly a great movie. Uh, and and uh, you know, hey. Could, they could set up a trilogy of done right. So, right. I guess it's one of those things because with it, this is also just my personal opinion. But the most important quality that I think can take like a good trailer to a amazing trailer mm-hmm. is the music. Yeah. So like, if you remember and you watched like the the first or the second uh, Inception trailer, mm-hmm. they did not, and that was pretty recent. It was 2010, but at that time they were still doing the same things as far as marketing goes for trailers. Mm-hmm. They didn't do, I mean, they, they put the score in there and it was original. That's very important. And it was fitting because it was obviously oh, yeah. was around that movie. And that's um, an epic score right there. Yeah. That's Hans Zimmer. So like the counter argument is if you remember the Terminator Salvation trailer, mm-hmm. regardless of what you think about the movie, I know the movie has a bad rap overall. Now that trailer was because they used don't be, don't bleep that out i'm gonna have to but that's okay. okay well it was bleeping awesome because <laughs> they used they used it was uh, nine inch nails the day the world went away now that's yeah. source music that was not for that movie but it was so fitting yeah you know what i mean oh it's yeah. just the music the music's it's imperative gotta, it's gotta draw you it's gotta draw you in absolutely right. well sir any uh, any closing thoughts if if the music would have been perfect, I would have probably give this a nine point five. But to me, the music is just too important. Everything else overall, the cast, no one's gonna argue about the cast. The special effects, they look mm-hmm. great. Uh, again, they're subtle, but they're fitting and original, and that's what's important. And, uh, and, today. And, yeah, and and hopefully the score will will hopefully be it, 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 what we're looking for and what is necessary for a movie like this, and not overly modernized right and you know what's interesting if you rewatch the first one there's not a lot of score in there it was it was gritty in the fact that they didn't use music a lot and i thought that was i thought that was great a lot of ambience a lot of lot yeah that's correct yep absolutely I'll, i'll give it a solid eight overall all right well ladies and gentlemen we have reached the end of the trailer break again i want to remind you all take a peek 
Uh, give us a like on Facebook, Three Geeks Flicks. We're also on YouTube. Again, look up Three Geeks Flicks. We have a blog spot. You can look at it. We don't have time to get to it. This is where the real stuff comes from, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you can look at it. <laughs> you can look at it all you want. You know, but, hey. And it will look back. Uh, you know, I appreciate everybody liking. Give us some feedback if there's anything you'd like to see us uh, review, talk about. It doesn't have to be a trailer. It could be a movie. It can be an idea. It could be a question about the industry. Throw it out to us. We like to sit and talk about things that most people talk about in three minutes and drag them out to 30 to 45. It's what we do. Uh, of course, keep it appropriate. You should be shame yourself. But uh, other than that, I am the tech Mitchell Wright. That again is the muse Justin Kyle. We want to thank you again very much for joining us and being patient. Until next time, folks, stay tuned to the glow of those monitors. We'll catch you next time. You know that chick that used to dance a lot? Every night she'd be on the floor shaking what she'd got. Man, when I tell you she was cool, All right. she was red hot. Oh man. I was gonna start dancing to the music and play the video. <laughs> All right, so, how you feeling? I'm okay. You okay? You ready? Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna go eat some hot dogs. I'm sure you will. If you know what I mean. Um, turkey or beef fry? Ryan said, we're also gonna have dinner afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Olive juice. I love you. Uh, I know. Ryan, I love you. I love cake. I love lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I do Alright, talk to you later. Next time, don't wear pants.